tripped and schooled one way, and uh, now it's gone the other way. So high yeah. drama, high drama before they even run. Trevor Denman has to call the classic. Freedom's Cup Classic. Feels sent on their way in the Breeders' Cup Classic to the roar of the Santa Anita crowd. Regal Ransom bounced away quickly. Zenyatta is dead last. Zenyatta's dead last early. It's Regal Ransom going on. Gio Ponti. Einstein is right there. Colonel John in the white colors. Summerbird has the red cap in the Vanguard too. Rip Van Winkle is on the outside and twice over racing right behind them. They tightly grouped and not in a big hurry out on the lead. Then it's awesome Jen. Gio Ponti's back fourth last. Been followed then by Richards Kett. Then comes Mind Mad Bird and Zenyatta is dead last. Zenyatta last. Got to be giving them about 10, 11 length start. They grab the three-quarter pole now in the classic, and it's Regal Ransom just setting a sensible pace, not in a big hurry out here. Rip Van Winkle now goes up second, and Colonel John scrapes the paint in third. Einstein's right there, too. Girolamo, white cap, far side. Here's Kent DeSormo and Summerbird. They six at the rail, just five off the leader. Then it comes twice over, awesome German. Gio Ponti is giving them seven length start. Then it's Richard's kid. Now here's Zenyatta. Zenyatta is still a good 10-11 off the leaders and then it's four back to mine that bird a half mile to go now in the classic and still the leader is regal ransom a length and a half rip van winkle being sent along after him then colonel john on the far side girolamo einstein is right there summer bird at the rail twice over is next then awesome gem geo ponti's behind that then richard's kid and now here's zenyatta and let's see zenyatta has a lot a lot of ground to make up Zenyatta, if she wins this, she'll be a super horse. She's starting to pick them off, though. Zenyatta going to hook to the outside. Meanwhile, it's Colonel John. Summer Bird in the red cap. Was out. Zenyatta's come to the outside. Zenyatta coming, flying on the grandstand side. Gio Ponti on the inside. Summer Bird is right there. This is unbelievable. Zenyatta, what a performance. One will never forget. Looked impossible, but it is Zenyatta. Yatta still unbeaten under Mike Smith. Gio Ponti second, Summerbird, and then Richards Kid. What a dramatic performance. One of the most sensational ever. Zenyatta wins Super. the Breeders' Cup Classic. Truly one of the most incredible performances you will ever see. And how about the move by Mike Smith, Jerry? I, I can't tell you how much cool and, and poise Mike showed. He saved the ground. He never panicked, Joe. Jay Pridman is with John Sheriffs. John, congratulations. What, what are you feeling right now? Uh, you know, I, you know, tears are coming to my eyes. I just can't believe it. You know, she is, what a great, great filly, huh? She's just, just don't see it. Special. When special. she came out of the gate like that, were you a little worried at all? Yeah, she, she came out, out, she was on a wrong lead, and it took a while to get going, but boy, she's just all heart, isn't she? What do you think of this crowd reaction? Uh, don't you love them? Don't you love them? Oh, I love everyone here. I mean, they they cheer for her, they clap for her, and she does a little dance for them. I mean, what a relationship. Was that a horse of the year performance? <laughs> you tell me, brother. <laughs> Look at Mike Smith. He has been on Zenyatta now for 11 straight wins. She has 14 straight to start her career. A career that'll go down among the all-time greats. She took the ultimate challenge today, and she passed in exceptional form. And aren't you glad Jerry Moss, John Sheriffs, decided to give her the opportunity to run against the boys in the final race of her career. Jerry Moss said she's earned it. She deserves it. This is why. Nothing went right for her early in the race. She broke on the wrong lead. Typically, horses will step out with their right foot first to the stretches. She was on her left. Mike Ressler got her to got her to a correct lead. Last early, I didn't think she could be that far back. He did save ground. He, as I said, he never lost his poise until the middle of the stretch, angled out, and here she came. Gio Ponte unofficially second, twice over the European third. The other European we were following, Rip Van Winkle, faded badly in the stretch finished far behind obviously went wrong a little bit with those feet but right now it's it's all about the girl 
Girl power on display here at the Breeders' Cup against the most loaded field there has been in the sport this year. And there's Jerry Moss. He is headed to the winner's circle to celebrate Zenyatta, the five-year-old mare named after the police album back in the day. And boy, oh boy, is she rock and roll. And now making her way to the set here is Mike Smith with the Breeders' Cup Classic champion. As Mike Smith approaches here to our set, and what a celebration is going to start. Mike, first off, congratulations. An unbelievable ride. Take us through it. You know, there's a little bit of chaos from the time we were all loading. She got really upset. I was a little concerned today. And she actually kind of dwelt it a little, leaving there. So she was last early, which I, I didn't necessarily want to be that far back. But I was able to cut the corner and then angle out late. She's incredible. I still didn't hit all gears. Mike, I've got to take my hat off to you, buddy, to show such calm and poise. I waiting. The greatest. Well, I, I, I tell you what, to, to save the ground and wait and be patient, and only did when you straightened up did you angle out so you didn't lose much ground. I was thinking of splitting them, Jerry, because it makes her more aggressive when she splits horses. But they came back together, and she's so agile, she just skipped over the heels and went on. And actually, the crowd got to roar, and she thought she'd stop and take a pose for a second. I had to kind of get after her, but... <laughs> She wind up winning with her ears pricked again, Jerry. Is she horse of the year? She's horse of the decade, by far. Enough said in the endorsement of Mike Great Smith. Job. She should go down as one of the greatest horses of all time, believe me. I think this crowd agrees with you, Mike. Congratulations. And now a lot of posing for Zenyatta to do as she makes her way back. And wait till you hear the roar from Santa Anita when Zenyatta gets back in front of this clubhouse. And already, all over the country, the conversations have begun about horse of the year. Rachel Alexandra is not here. Owner Jess Jackson chose not to bring her to the Breeders' Cup. A lot of people whose opinions I respect think that Rachel Alexandra already has horse of the year sewed up regardless of what Zenyatta did. I know one guy sitting next to me that doesn't believe that. Here's the reception as she comes back home to this loving crowd. A lot of people here don't believe that. to the vulgarities you may have heard as the crowd was a little riled up there as she came back. And now, a well-deserved soaking. And Janine is with the jubilant owners. And as he gives his trainer, John Sheriff, the hug. <laughs> Jerry, you told me a lot of careful thought went into this decision to run this filly in here. God, I was so concerned about the beginning, you know, of the race and having to have her sit around for a while. She's just amazing. Look, look at her. Look at her. How about this look ovation? Fans. Look at the fans. How do you feel about your mare? Oh, she's the greatest. She's a dream come true. She's just run away into the history books. We're so proud of her. I love everybody. God bless. Thank you. I got to get to her. Enjoy the moment. What a moment. The man who founded A&M Records with Herb Alpert produced artists like Janet Jackson, The Police. Bert Baccarat, the Carpenters, won the 05 Derby, but now the highlight of highlights, his mare, his gal, unbeaten. You know, Joe, Randy referred to a little earlier, should she be horse of the year? There's been several articles written that she doesn't even belong in the same argument, even if she was, was to win the Breeders' Cup Classic. Not only does she belong in the argument, I give her my vote. Number one, Rachel Alexandra didn't come to the Breeders' Cup, and number two, when she had a choice, to run in a tougher race at Saratoga in the Travers versus against the, the older horses in the Woodward. Granted, it was older horses, but the Travers was the more difficult race on paper. She chose the latter, and she worked very well that week, so she was ready for either race. My vote goes for Zenyatta. I hope they both, I hope they both stay in training and meet up come the next year. And the reception near the winner's circle. Girl power. Go Zenyatta. The pink and green signs have read all day long, and she went. Did she ever? 
We're going to take many looks at that stretch run and break it down for you. But for now, just enjoy the celebration. She's still pawing. She said she's still in the mood to prance. <laughs> We had that lighthearted segment of her on Dancing with the Stars. But well, she is a star and she knows it, doesn't she? The reigning female champion and now the Breeders' Cup Classic champion. The great personal ensign retired 13 for 13 after winning the Breeders' Cup Distaff. Now it's called the Ladies' Classic in 1988. This, of course, runs in Yada to 14 for 14. It's not a national record, but that doesn't matter. Mike Smith, now third all-time in Breeders' Cup earnings. His 13th Breeders' Cup win, of course, our Jerry Bailey with 15, the Hall of Fame jockey. It was as good of a stretch run as we've seen. And Jerry, take us through it. Well, you know what? I was watching her all the way, and, and I thought she was dead in the middle of the stretch. Early Mike's, as he mentioned, she almost dwelt. That means she almost didn't come out of the gate. She broke on her incorrect lead. Mike straightened her out, saved a little ground early, moved up down the back. So now he's got a choice here. What's he going to do? Well, he knows he can't go around at this point and win. The, the horses are moving in front of him, so he stays on the inside, saving the ground that ultimately made him win. Now they are straightened up, so he's really not losing much ground. He said he go, was going to split horses right there. That was the wise decision, too, because there might not have been room by the time he got there. Out in the clear, and Randy, does she do her stuff here. A nice effort you see there from Gio Ponte, who's probably going to win an Eclipse Award as the champion turf male. Trying synthetics for the first time, but Zenyatta leaving him behind. Here's the here's the isolated reel. Twice over, came up and grabbed third there, as you saw. Picking her off in the teal silks. Mike angling her out. There's the gap he thought he was going to go to at first. Makes the other decision. It's a good thing because Karen F Fallon, whipping right-handed, moved over in front of him. I'm sorry, Thomas Queeley. Again, the right decision by Mike, but look at her. Look at her kick that extra gear, the overdrive to run down Gio Ponte. Nick Luck, your thoughts? I'm blown away. Europe have had six winners at this Breeders' Cup, but to be here when this crowd has risen to an undefeated filly like this is spine-tingling. She was awesome, and Mike Smith said she was never out of third gear. On the world stage, you followed the international stage of horse racing, the great Europeans, and you had Rip Van Winkle in this race, one of the best in the world. Where is she in your eyes? <laughs> Look, he didn't run his race, but twice over is a rattling good horse in third. But it, it's not about the figures. It's not about the form. It's about the emotional impact she leaves on us all when we leave here today and that is going to be indelible for me this crowd has really responded to her they've been touched by her in every way and it's magnificent to witness in our sport let's look at the prices here as that massive crowd was cheering on Zenyatta a fist pump from Mike Smith and here are the prices from the Breeders' Cup Classic with Zenyatta on top of the American turf star Gio Ponte and twice over with a good race. The 5-2 to two favorite Zenyatta. It runs 4.75 in the Classic. That dollar trifecta, 4.75 with a good return on your investment. The concerns that we all had about the three-year-olds that uh, had shown either subpar races on synthetics or hadn't trained very well over them sort of came to fruition. Summer, board, Summer Bird finished fourth, but my net bird, the Kentucky Derby winner, after a sixth place finish in the Goodwood, a very, very disappointing ninth here. The race was unbelievable, one of the most memorable we've seen. But what happened before the race, obviously, people are going to be talking about, too, with the first ever gate scratch in Breeders' Cup Classic history as Quality Road went through the plot twist there. Janine is with Dr. Larry Bramlage with an update on Quality Road. That's right, Joe. Dr. Bramlage, some very tense moments there with Quality Road at the gate. What is the update? Why exactly why was he scratched? Well, he scraped the hind leg, and he's a bit of a juvenile delinquent anyway, and it became a contest of wills. And when he scraped the hind leg, they're never allowed to run when that happens because you don't know the extent of anything going. It's probably nothing, but we couldn't take a chance. And I know the starters had the best intentions, but it didn't seem like the blindfold helped in that situation. It got him very stirred up. Well, there wasn't anything that helped. He wasn't going in the gate today, so... Okay. It was his, it was his uh, will that kept us from letting him run. So that's the story, Joe. A scrape on a hind leg for Quality Road. Thanks, Janine. Well, we talked about the Shoemaker Award throughout the day here. You know, 
Mike Smith isn't on the list, but trust me, he's very happy with where he stands. Julian Le Peru, the French native who came to America back in 2003. He had three winners to take the Shoemaker Award here over the two days of these world championships. But the party continues, and her rightful place, the Breeders' Cup champion and the connections of Zenyatta. Here's Tom Rinaldi in the winner's circle. Thanks, Joe. Not only the winner's circle, but a place of perfection. Wow, as everyone tries to collect their breath and gather their emotions down here in the winner's circle. And to help us, we have Bill and Kelly Farish, the chairman of the Breeders' Cup, Sherwood Chillingsworth, the chairman of the Oak Tree Racing Association, Bo Derrick, a member of the California Horse Racing Board, and Patrick Smith, the president and CEO of Mon Block North America. Take it away, Bill. Well, it's, I don't know what to say. What a performance from such a great Philly. Very emotional for everybody here today. John, great job training her. And Mike, what a ride. Uh, the Mosses, thank you so much for bringing her today for everybody to enjoy. And one more quick presentation we have right now from, from Patrick Schmitz. Patrick? From Mont Blanc, only one word, historic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jerry, your horse spoke with that performance, so now it's your turn. Tell us why Zenyatta is the horse of the year. Uh, well, she's our horse of the year, that's for sure. And she's the horse of the year, all these people here, I think. <laughs> I got to put this down or I'm going to get a hernia or something. You have been at the pinnacle of this sport, Jerry. You, you've had a Kentucky Derby winner, the two of you have. Yeah. Yet this moment seemed to touch you and move you in a way that nothing else has. How do you describe it? Well, we like to hope to play in some the bigger spots, as I say. And my God, you can't get a, a spot almost as, as big as this one. <laughs> so. Uh, I just got to say that between Dottie and John and, and the ride, the great Mike Smith gave this, this, this mare this today was unbelievable. And <laughs> the Horse of the Year chant begins down here from the crowd surrounding the winner's circle. J J Jerry, when that horse crossed, in a sentence, what went through you? Oh, we were just uh, absolute joy, you know, absolute sheer joy. We, we just love her so much and uh, to see her come through like this uh, and through not the greatest start in the world you know it was kind of trouble we were worried about her back there and uh, she just came through like a trooper and we just love her to death you know? as is her style not how you start but how you finish and you can't finish any better than perfection Joe